Okay. Hello, my seventh and eighth grade elective classes. It's Mrs. Abel here, and I thought you could do this quick and easy project at home for me. All you need is a white piece of paper, your hands, and a marker. Um, this is an example that one of my students did a couple years ago. Um, and then, if you have a larger piece of paper, you could do your whole arm. So I'm just going to glide this through my tripod here. And I traced my whole arm. So here is that example. And I'll post that later. So for my little friends, you can do this too. All you need is your hands. I wanted to show you the pens I love really quick. Of course, a brand new Sharpie is my favorite. A little tip Sharpie. And if you're really gonna get into drawing, this is a great pen. And then everyday drawing, I love this pen. This is just great. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna trace your hand. And I, I think it's really essential if you just create some really interesting positions Start with your arm down and trace right around your thumb. Go slow, flatten your hand down nice and flat. Excuse my manicure here. I haven't been able to get to the salon right now. All right, so now what you can do is you can twist it around and you can overlap the fingers. Just don't go through the line, okay? So you can go like this go right here just remember to stop go slow and just stop right there there's a little corner right here right there and you might have some blind spots so just go slow it's easier to trace in Sharpie because it's really hard to go back over with pencil Go around your thumb and go right off the page, okay? All right, so then there's your one, two hands. Now you could add one more, maybe just your fingers coming on top or not. But now I call these personality hands. And what I love about this project is I want you to think about all the things that you love right now. If it's sports, if it's soccer, baseball, hockey, you name it. If it is ballet, dance, swimming, these are all the things I want you to incorporate. Now, other passions, if it's reading, doing your homework, is it walking your dog? Is you know, I want you to think about all the things you love, and this is where I want you to incorporate these ideas. They're gonna become symbols. So, I want you to mark off your thumb, and all your fingers, just draw a little line like that. Now in the middle, I want you to put something that is really important to you. And the one thing that I realize that's really important to me right now is getting outside with my family. And I have been outside with Ella and my husband, and we have just been in the pool, we've been gardening, we've been playing on our playground, and we have just been sitting in the sun. So I am gonna create a gorgeous sun. And I'm gonna stretch those beautiful sun rays out. And I'm gonna do this kind of fast so you get the idea. Now, you can do this on the other hand too. Find another symbol. Maybe, you know, the last three or four days, I've been in my garden a lot because I love to garden and that really makes me feel good. So maybe I would put like a big flower right here. But on these fingers, I want you to put things that, you know, are very important to you. So let's say if this was about my husband, maybe it would be a bunch of golf balls. But this is about me. So this is all about you. What is something you love? So what I love, let's see. Right now, t yesterday, I cooked a lot. So I am going to do, I cooked meatballs. So I'm gonna do some fun 
little abstract <laughs> meatballs. And actually, I'm the only one that really knows what they are, right? And I could do some little fun designs in the meatballs And cooking really makes makes me happy. I love to cook for people. And a lot of times when I have friends over, it just it makes me feel so happy. When I have my family over, it makes me feel just wonderful when I give them a wonderful, healthy meal. So now maybe my second finger, what is something else Mrs. Abel loves? Art. So maybe I create a bunch of paintbrushes okay so there's my fun little paintbrushes and they're coming in all little directions coming off the page going off there coming on okay so I have what I made for dinner yesterday I have some meatballs I have the Sun and I can add more things to my son and really add more detail to my designs so for my other finger, let's see, what else do I love to do? I loved going to the beach. So maybe on this finger, I can make these beautiful ocean waves. Now, because I'm getting a little tinier, I could switch pens and I can do some tinier waves and they can become a little more intricate. And maybe this area becomes the sandy beach. Underneath the sun. kind of get the idea with that so the other thing I love to do is I love the woods I love my cabin it's in northern Wisconsin and it's my happy place so I am going to draw some trees and I'm gonna spin it around we got maples and oaks and beautiful birch trees but for this pattern I am just going to keep it the same tree with the same type of pattern this cabin is totally my personality it has molded me to the person I am so those are the things that I want you to think about now this project probably will take you at least a couple hours. Now I'm flying through this so you just kind of get the idea. But each finger should be a different highlight of who you are as a person. Not just sports. Think about what you're passionate about. If it's charity, if it's mission work, it's hobbies, it's people who you hang out with. It could be your grandparents, it could be your aunts, your uncles, your siblings. Maybe it's a toy that represents that you love hanging around with your siblings. So here is the example. One of my students did a phenomenal job. And these are all really abstract examples of what she did. So um, she was a very private person and that is great. I love that. And she created these beautiful personality hands. So good luck and I look forward to seeing them.